All right, we've killed the studio. So we're going to uh, select the uh, the rocket launcher, and we're going to fire at this uh, this science vessel here. Ah, we missed. The uh, shot went underneath the science vessel. That's to demonstrate the uh, the uh, tallness of the unit. Like I was speaking about those data cable values. Again, we can fire over science vessel as well. Now we're out of ammo. As you can see, we had zero of two rounds. So we're going to hit the R button to uh, reload. Now you'll notice the clip number decreased by one. So. Uh, he's got a lot of a lot of health here. Ah, okay. Now we're gonna try and reload because we're out of ammo here. Up, oh, we have no ammo. That's because we're out of clips. So uh, we need a way to replenish the number of clips. So we're gonna navigate back to the StarCraft II editor here, and uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna place some ammunition for the player. We're going to go to Neutral, we're going to go to All, and we're going to go to Item. Now, you're going to notice these pickups. There's one that is a template so that you can create ammunition for your own custom weapons. There's the auto cannon ammo. There is the flamethrower ammo, pistol uh, or rifle ammo, and uh, rocket ammo. So... Since rockets seem to be in short supply, we're going to we're going to play some of this uh, rocket ammunition. Now these are simply placeholder graphics. Uh, further releases will have improved uh, graphics for these ammunition items. So now we're going to test this document again. All right, using the uh, period and comma keys, we can uh, navigate which weapon we want. So we're going to have the rocket launcher selected, and we're going to fire at the science vessel again. Reload. Reload. Oh, we're out of clips and out of ammo. So, we're going to look over here to these rocket ammunition items. Uh, like I said, they need their graphics replaced. When you walk up to it, see? The number of clips we had just increased by one. Watch the number of clips while I walk into this item. See? Now we have two clips. Two more clips, ready. So, we're going to reload. And uh, we'll be able to finish off this new science vessel. And uh, we can uh, shoot at this Goliath as well. Okie dokie. Now I'm going to demonstrate the auto cannon. While these Marines are shooting at us. This guy's tough. Now yeah, we'll navigate back to uh, rifle to finish him off. Okie dokie. So, um, I think this uh, demonstrates uh, for my purposes what I'm trying to get across to you guys, which is that uh, you do have a limited amount of ammunition, and in this release you have uh, items that increase your ammunition. Uh, Pistol ammo, um, the aforementioned rocket ammo, um, flamethrower ammo, and autocannon ammo. So, uh, as you can see, 
units can now fight back. And uh, yeah, the final thing that I'd like to demonstrate for you is uh, my pathing system. So, ah. Uh, Eh, this is what I get for using a trackpad. Mm. Anyway, all right, this is better. So, we're going to uh, pick up all this ammo here. Okay. Now we're going to kill this here Goliath. Okie dokie. Now, typically, uh, because we don't actually have a unit, as in a third-person shooter, you'd be able to walk up this cliff. However, in my FPS engine, there's pathing. It stops you. And it stops you no matter what direction you're moving in. Now, uh, if you recall in the first video, we set the distance of this camera to 1. And because the pathing stop distance is greater, than the camera distance, uh, we don't end up with a situation where the camera is looking out from the inside of the cliff, which would be stupid looking. Anyway, so now we're gonna uh, try walking up this this here ramp. Up. Anyway, so, as you can see, the bullets impact on, uh, on terrain, if you will, uh, you can see here, uh, they, uh, travel in a straight line over cliffs and other such obstacles, which, believe me, is more difficult to, uh, get to work than you would expect. So, anyway, uh, this is the, uh, this is, um, yeah, this is my first person shooter engine. Uh, I just wanted to demonstrate uh, placing units and uh, the ammunition items. So, this is Backlit Avenger from sc2master.com signing off. I'm going to upload this map as the uh, demo map for this version of the Trigger Library so that you guys can uh, experience this for yourselves. Uh, yeah, Backlit Avenger signing off.